guys! Welcome to Yeti's Place. This is Yeti the Samiad, and I'm Yeti's mom. And on this channel, we're going to talk about how to groom your thick, double-coated dog, or any dog for that matter. It's a mini-series of types, and this is episode two of the four-part mini-series. Up next, on Yeti's Place. Welcome to Yeti's Place. This is Yeti the Samiad, and I'm Yeti's mom. And if you're new here, please subscribe, click the bell notification, and comment down below. So on today's episode, we're going to talk about step number two of grooming a Samiad, or any double-coated dog for that matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm gonna de demat the around his ears because I did find a few mats in there. And I'm going to use this, this comb right here and it'll get in there um, behind his ears a little bit more thoroughly to be able to comb out those, those mats really well. And the sharper edges on it, it's not sharp enough to cut me at all, but it's sharp enough to slice into those mats. And then we're going to follow it up using a conditioning spray, which this is not a cleaner at all in here, it's in an empty container, but it has conditioner, like human people conditioner, white, colored conditioner. I just got it at Walmart mixed in with water. I put about this much of the conditioner in there and then I filled it up with water and I shook it nice and very, very well. Oh my goodness, Yeti, yes, you're getting scared, aren't you? He doesn't really like this stuff very much. So with this guy, I'm going to go in behind his ears and just very gently comb out the mats that are behind there. So I'm just kind of feeling around, like looking for the mats and his ears, but I'm just going in here really gently and then getting rid of the mats. And there really aren't too many back here right now, but sometimes he does get a few of them because he loves the ear rubs, as most dogs do. It gets in there and with the, the sharper edges on it, it helps slice through those mats a little bit easier. And if I do encounter a mat, I'm just very gentle. Now, I'm going to use the conditioning spray. And I'm just gonna spray him down a little bit, get him a little bit dampened. So what that conditioning spray is going to do is it's once he dries, it'll make him super nice and soft and very, very fuzzy, and he'll smell really, really nice and pretty. So again, what I do is the same tricks as yesterday. I hold his fur up using one hand and I'm going to brush down like this with the other hand. And I'm going to put my finger like right in that whole area right behind the brush because this brush, the slicker brush is what it's called, it has a really nice finger area. And when Yeti is, is dampened down like this, it gets a little bit slippery. So this finger hole comes in really super handy. And this slicker brush helps to make him very nice and poofy looking. Oh yeah, I can get the doggy belly. Oh boy. Yeti, I can't see what I'm doing. Chewy's breeder taught me this trick about the conditioning spray while you're grooming your Sammy Ed. She and, and Yeti's breeder both had brought their dogs to dog shows and that's how Chewy's breeder got her dogs to be super, super soft. Yeti, because he has a thicker outer coat than the inner coat, which is still substantially thick, the, the conditioning spray is going to help his coat be a little bit softer. Yeti, you're gonna be so pretty. Such a beautiful dog, man. No growling, no biting. You just chill. Fizzy pop. What are you doing? No bite? He does not like this. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Yeti, I'm just brushing you. I'm not hurting you. It's just a brush. See? It's just a brush. Oh, stop. <sighs> Stink dog. Oh, you stop. Now he's getting vocal. It's just a 
toothbrush with your mom on the other end. Oh, you stop. Stop it. Yeti. See, he gets a little bit sassy. Okay, sweetie pup, I'm gonna need you to flip over. Need you to get over the other direction. Oh, Yeti, stop. No, Yeti, get out of the bathtub. You cannot be in the bathtub. The shedding from the first video where we were using the dematting rake on him with the swivels was a big time shed. This isn't too bad. I mean, it's like a brush full of solid fur. Of course, his whole body is gonna look really, really pretty and very nice, except for his belly because he hasn't been letting me get to his belly or the insides of his back legs. It's work grooming a Sammy. I would not trade him for the world. I love this breed. And Yeti is a great dog. He's my little buddy. Sit. That's it. So thank you so much you guys for joining us tonight on Yeti's Place. So be sure to check out the links down below. Please be sure to subscribe and comment down below and click the bell notification. Thank you so much you guys. Bye.